And ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, boy, it's heating up in these streets, boy. The interior defense, the whole debate, it's tough. It's, a, it's the, at the height of the 2K community, but Mike Wong stepped in today and just settled the whole debate, which sparked even more controversy, man. A lot of people still don't know uh, how do we feel about it. Should you use it? Should you not use it? I got the answer to all of that for you right here, but I'm going to tell you what this means really for guards and what I think it means going forward because I just don't know. Also, you got your boy, the Fade King Chalk. He's speaking on the uh, Make 2K Fun Again whole thing, man. All that good stuff, man. So we, we got some stuff for y'all, man. If y'all don't do nothing else, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content. We bring in the 2K heat every day of the week. I got a banger for y'all coming up today. What y'all want? Y'all want some gameplay? Y'all want a jump shot today? Let me know down in the, in the uh, description. And uh, other than that, let's just get right into it. Nino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. OG I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me sad. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. So right out the bat, man, right out the gate, bro. We, I just want to, I want to, Chop was talking about the Make 2K Fun Again whole deal right here, man. Um, let's just let him talk and then we're going to get right back to what we were talking about. Let's see. What's going on, everybody? Just wanted to give my quick thoughts on the hashtag make 2K fun hashtag. All right, obviously it hit number one on trending, which I think is dope. But the problem is, guys, that we are really confusing NBA 2K on what we want, okay? I'm not saying that this game is great by any means. There's a lot of problems right. that this game has. In fact, there's, there's quite a few problems that this game has. And I feel like a lot of you guys addressed all that, okay? But one of the core issues that we're not discussing enough is the fact that you guys are asking for gameplay that is similar to what we currently have, okay? Everybody glorifies and worships NBA 2K15, they worship NBA 2K16, they worship 17, and those games were very arcade-like, okay? As you guys can see in this NBA 2K15 gameplay right here, mm, okay. a lot of contested shots went in, okay? A lot of BS went That's in, true. the skill gap was extremely low, it was one of the most arcade-like feeling 2Ks of all time, okay? So when you guys are going and saying that these are the games that you want, when you guys are going and saying that these were okay. the most fun we ever had on 2K, you know, can we get back to this? When they're giving mm -hmm. us that and we don't like it, it sets up a okay. lot of confusion between the consumer and the company. And that kind of goes to what I'm saying here is we got to start thinking for ourselves as a community, okay? A lot of you guys who say that you love NBA 2K15 and love 16, you never even played it. You're just going based That's off true. of what your favorite content creator says. See, I the problem with NBA 2K21 is so not can't. that it's not fun. Because okay, the game is it's definitely fun. The problem with NBA 2K21 Next Gen no is that there is zero skill gap. It's not that the game needs to be fun again. It's that the game needs to be competitive again, okay? Right now, you can load up on Next Gen and play Timmy Buckets 2735, and he will probably beat you at least one out of four times. But it didn't used to he be like be that on previous 2K. Right now, the skill gap is extremely low because me. they went for a more <laughs> arcade-like feeling game which is what you guys have been asking for. So at some point, we have to make up our minds as a community. Either A, we want a game where we dunk on everybody and make contested threes and break ankles over and over again, or B, we want a game that rewards players for actually being good. See, the hashtag shouldn't be make 2K fun again because I think 2K is fun, and a lot of people think it's All fun. Right. The hashtag okay. needs to be make 2K competitive again because the skill gap right now is at an all-time low. Hey, so I guess he's saying that the skill gap right now is an all-time low. Now, my boy Swan Swan, hey, the, the ISO sensei says, uh, you use you use any chance you, you can to bash the highest and best skill gap 2Ks. Uh, you didn't even you didn't even know those games. You just uh, you didn't even know those games. You just seen them on YouTube. Sure, people uh, sure people are tall. They get contact dunks now, uh, but that don't mean but that don't mean it's like those 2Ks. Okay. Uh, 18 and 19 least skill gap arcade uh, 2Ks ever. I ain't gonna lie about that. My boy T Mizzle, he he says uh, you're speaking facts, but if 2K is going full arcades, you gotta show some love to the dribblers. Who who agree with that, man? If you agree with that, let me know, man. And then Chuck says at 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 one point in 16, you couldn't even speed boost. If Twitter was uh if Twitter was prevalent then, as it as it is now, people uh eat 2K we will eat 2K alive. How bad that moment was. Bro, I ain't a lot of y'all, man. Um, I don't know what he's talking about with that, but Twitter was prevalent back then. Um, I think we've been rocking with Twitter since what, like 2009, 10, whatever, Nick, whatever it is. It, but anyway, the point is, 2K, I mean, that it, it was prevalent back then, and um, they did come at 2K for that. 
Uh, and they, they really, it just wasn't people speaking out about these videos, but they definitely, when they took speed boosting out in patch four, I think it was in 2K16, yeah, they, 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 they crucified 2K for that. They was mad. People was hot. But I, I guess a lot of people just didn't, like, I, if you weren't looking in the right places, you wouldn't know. You had a lot more forums and stuff and stuff like that back then, but people were definitely complaining. People made YouTube videos. People talked about that ad nauseum. So, like, I don't know exactly what he's trying to say on that one, but I'm with you when you're right. People did ask for an arcade 2 k where people get dunked on, stuff like that. I want to be able to dunk and dribble and shoot and do all of that at the same time. And people get mad that they getting what they asked for. I ain't going to lie about that. Now, like I said, I don't know about comparing to 2K16 because I feel like 2K16 gameplay was, was some of the best. I even like 17. I really didn't like 18. We played it. But I really didn't like 18, but that's when Fortnite came through and did all of that. But I think 16 and 17 were pretty good. A lot of people disagree with me about 17. It is what it is. I like 17 um, a lot. I, and I actually like 16 uh, more than probably anything. So, you know, it is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all favorite 2K was down in the comment section, man. And do you agree with Swante or do you agree with um with uh, with Chop? Uh, one person said, I played 15, 16, and 17. Uh, the rest of the, the, and the rest uh we said those games were just better i agree i can agree with you on that like i said i feel like this is a pretty good game and i think that we got a long way to go if we're gonna say this game is not good if it's bad if it's whatever 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 bro i i don't i don't know i think it's a good game y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section do you think it's a good game I, obviously it needs some work i'm not talking about that but i i really feel like it's a pretty doggone good game as far as good games go up next man we got this joint here nba 2k toots and NBA 2K Lab, this is on Reddit. They just said both 2K Lab and 2K2. Also, uh, you know, they ran tests and uh, interior defense and found that no difference in the shot contest rating between 25 and uh, and 99. That's true. And the and the man, the myth, the legend, Mike Wong steps in and says they are correct. The game looks at the player's block rating uh, to determine the strength of contest. Uh, contested shots at the rim and so and and just so y'all know this is the real mike mike wong right here bro mike mike stepped in you see that right here baloo but he got the 2k joint it is mike wong uh that's him it's the real mike the thing of it is though bro how much of this do we really like are we really willing to settle for because like i said i know a hundred percent that he's right because he made the game but bro, this led me to, to, to think about two other things. How fair is it that you put on interior? Now, if you wanna know what interior defense does now, it keeps people from backing you down, drop stepping you and doing stuff like that. But perimeter defense keeps people from blowing by you and doing stuff and stuff like that. So that led me to believe if interior defense don't mean nothing, does perimeter defense mean anything either? Does, does perimeter defense just help you stay in front of people or does it help you contest shots? I thought it helped you contest shots. I thought if you had high, high perimeter, you could get better contest. If you had low perimeter, you get low. Or is that based off your shot, your, your block rating too? That would be interesting because that would be that would really tell us why a lot of people been getting sprayed lately. And they they like I got 95 in t a perimeter defense, but I don't have I I can't really do nothing. And and it's really just because of this. Look at this. You're a point guard. What can you get over there? You're a point guard. You six three. A lot of people six three, right? The highest block you can get is 61. Uh, and then people not even putting up block, really. Look at this. They're putting up perimeter defense. This is some information that we should have known before the game came out. Look at this. 6'2", 6 6'4", 6 you're a point guard. You can get a 61. Six, uh, you, you, know, you see what I'm saying? 6'6", six, six, you can get a 70. You can't even get an intimidator until you're 6'7 with a point guard. Or, or obviously you can you could probably go up with your wingspan but let's say you got max wingspan as a point guard and y'all uh, you're shooting this down to a 92 so you still can you, you got to get what 70 74 to get intimidated look at this you still got to be 66 in order to get intimidated that's crazy so like if you're gonna do that did they not just buff demigods demigods even more because you can make the small forward equivalent and be six seven with with regular wingspan regular wingspan and you got uh, 80 block so it, it's crazy that you can't even get intimidated as a point guard but that would really explain to me why people are getting sprayed on like they are and like it's just like people just it's like you're not even there i don't get it it is what but, but y'all I don't, I don't know man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section is this why people are getting sprayed because perimeter and interior defense don't matter and you can get the same type of contest on the perimeter and in the uh and in the paint as you can just because of your block rating because like i said people don't really shoot in my face that much and i have a 91 block rate people are missing but i got my guards on the perimeter and bro they are just getting sprayed out there 
Like, it, it's not even funny. Now, let me tell you something. A lot of people feel like the interior defense don't matter. I'm going to use interior defense because post, post hooking about to have a field day. Post hooking out there doing like this. Post hooking when he's looking at these guys with no interior defense. He can back you down and throw hooks. There's nothing you can do about it. That's why you're getting killed by post hooking right now. So he might be the best YouTube of all time. But with guards, bro, if you're a guard, maybe you can be a small forward and you can get. Look, if you're a small forward, what's your, what, what can your block rating be? You can get a, you can get like an 84 or something like that. But, uh, you know, you got to be damn near a small forward or a shooting guard, a tall shooting guard or, or 6'8 guard. In, in order to be able to get intimidated. You can't even get intimidated. You get it at 6-7 here, but that's just insane to me. So like, I just want to really know that. I need 2K2s. I need 2K Lab. Get on that ASAP. We want to know if you can get the same contest on the perimeter with 25 perimeter defense as you can get on the perimeter with uh, with the same thing. And, it's, and it doesn't just go by your block rating. That's what, that's what we want to know. Let me know if y'all want to know that down in the comment section. Also, do y'all like me doing these joints right here, man, where, I, um, where, where I'm doing two or three of these news type videos a day, or do y'all y'all don't like it? But like I said, though, man, just because they said that, I don't like people backing me down, so I would have put my interior defense up anyway. I want to be able to play defense, 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 no matter what. I'm never going to play. I'm never going to compromise on defense. My defense maxed out. But at least I know now why I'm getting dunked on, because it looks like if you don't get the jump, then your block rating doesn't even take a, take effect because that's what 2K2 said at the end of the video. If you don't jump, your block rating really don't even take effect, and that's why people get dunked on. So if you can jump, you got a chance. But a lot of times you don't even get a, get the jump because you get animated before you do that. So you know it is what it is. And last but not least, man, this thing right here, bro, it came up when I opened up my um this joint when I opened up my my um my Streamlabs OBS. This thing came up Lucra, and it's talking about live stream events but you can do it and charge people tickets like you can do your own personal pay-per-view bro what would happen if these guys started doing pay-per-view for these dog like you can pay for you do your own pay-per-view event for anything people could do their own pay-per-view event for these doggone wages and stuff you think people would pay i bet some of these thirsty ass little kids will pay for that i ain't gonna cop i wouldn't but i mean obviously they should keep it on twitch but i don't see like this is something that i guess cool but i really don't see See, I don't know how much legs it might have, man. What do y'all think? Is it going to have some legs or something like that? Do you think anybody in the mainstream will take advantage of it? Is it something that just KSI and all those guys like Fredo and all them guys when they do uh do their boxing match and stuff? Is that what they're going to do? Or, you know, what do you think? Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. And also, last but not least, are you going to put your uh, interior defense up? You're going to leave it down with the new information that we got? And uh, do you think, let me know down in the comment section, do you think that perimeter even matters as far as contest? I don't think it matters as far as contest. I think perimeter defense, it, I think it did matter as far, and we know that we know that, it, that interior stopped you know, post moves and stuff because it stopped the hop step last year if you had good interior defense on 2K20. But now, it's like, like right now with people having 95 perimeter defense and people still shooting in their faces and they getting 30 some percent contest or people getting 70 percent contest and people still shooting in their face it leads me to believe that it probably really is tied to just the uh it's probably tied to just the block rate we're gonna do the test ourselves man let me know what y'all think down in the comment section and i'm gonna holler y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Guys, please.